around you, you can see the other elves. Uh, soldiers have um, or fallen and are um, uh, surrounded by uh, bodies of one of the other transformed wolves and uh, one of the hill folk um, outlaws. Uh, Where is Modrith at this point? I mean, if I take a quick glance, yeah, uh, cool. do I see Modrith? Give me an alertness roll. Um, I got a, a great roll. Cool. Uh, that gives you a chance to notice that Modrith has um, a, uh, a dagger pressed against the throat of um, uh, the female elf. And she's shouting uh, in the direction of uh, the taller, bearded elven figure who is busy uh, leaping out from one of the windows of the building and uh, does not appear to be listening to the threats that if you come back or she will um, uh, slit the throat of this uh, elven trash. And, and I've seen, I, I'm seeing this bearded elven figure jumping out the window. Yes. Uh, and, yes. Um, uh, I wonder if uh, I wonder if the elf who's got a knife to her throat smells familiar to anybody. Roth. Yes. I'm so, with Rod uh, on that one, just as long as yeah, the voices right. from the ether are seeping <laughs> in here. Yeah. So, uh, we can certainly find that out. Um, I'm feeling like uh, any elf who is almost certainly doomed and not belong to this world is attacking you. I don't know why he likes your leg so much. He, he makes a final flail at your um, left leg. Okay. Give me a left leg defense. Uh, I just managed a poor. A poor. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, the tip of it scrapes along your, your uh, left leg, um, giving you a light wound. Okay. Uh, and drawing blood, and with a snarl, uh, you're about to um, uh, attempt to finish him off when. Uh, why not? Uh, I'll finish him off. Anyway, Modfrith, uh, Modfrith's dagger that she was holding at the elf throat suddenly embeds itself through the eye of this elf other elf. Apparently, stabbing her daughter is not, not allowed. Uh, right. Would you like to survey the, uh, the, the, the scene of carnage and devastation around you in more detail? Um, As in, if you want to give me an alertness draw, I might tell you things that happen so you can... Or if you're not, then... You know. Well, I, I, I actually think what, what Girl has on her mind mm -hmm. is at least getting a sense of the direction that this bearded elf figure would have taken. Oh, so you're almost... Well, there's all, there's even a quickness roll if you wanted to preempt him, I guess. Is, I don't yeah. know if that's true or not. But. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, so, you know, I, I don't so know... In this I'm, split second, you've seen that the elf has swung at your leg. Modthrift has sent a, a, a dagger through his eye, and now you're possibly able to leap off after him if you want to make a quickness roll. Okay. That is a. I'm real big. That quickness roll is great because it's very much the no, you don't, I do it first hmm. from the player to the GM. So right. the, the player, yeah, the GM absolutely. could always have people, you know, doing things you don't want them to, and you've got a chance yes. to jump in if, if in you've got the guts. It's as if someone had that situation come up over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, give me a quickness roll. Uh, um, the... I was not much uh, myself. That's what I would do. Um, um, superior is what I rolled. Oh, cool, right. Yes, you can certainly follow after him if you want to. He's not getting away and out of your sight. Yeah, well, and, and I think I think the way that girl's going to try to work this, um, I, I know that my, my current form is probably not going to stay on me much longer but as much as possible i'm gonna follow i'm not gonna try to attack him mm -hmm. but i, I want to get a good sense of where exactly he might be heading okay 
cool. I, it sounds like you leaped in your wolf form out of the window after him as he runs down the, the street beside the building. Um, and you are following after. This is probably a trap roll. Um, I will... Does track seem fair to you, Robbie? Yeah, no, that seems that seems fair. Cool. Go for that. It's a track roll, and you're uh, getting a sense of where he's going. Uh, he might have a of impact. All right. Um, so you will help keeping people in sight. And my, my my track roll is is a great. Cool. Okay. Uh, so your track roll uh, is enough to to keep up with him. Follow follow him as he runs off through the streets. You can see he's heading. Um, west across the city as you um uh, uh you would be able to overtake him and keep up with him i think uh, overtake him if you wanted to except that uh, as your as your uh wolf is wolf is banding after him you start to change back okay but uh, as long as you are happy to in the shadows of the city keep following him uh that's fine you can certainly Track him, keep him in sight as you uh, as he heads west across the city. Yeah, I, I think I'll try to do that again. I I'm I'm not really interested in encountering you know mm -hmm. you know accosting him at this point. But if I can get a kind of sense of where his destination might be, that that seems like it would be useful useful information. Cool. So, um, sorry guys, this gives him no opportunity to, to detect interesting scents that might be there back in the. <laughs> back in the uh, oh. uh, workshop. Right. Okay. So yes, uh, you can follow him across the, across town. Um, uh, meanwhile, uh, what's happening in the Starry Night Mansion? Um, uh, I'm going to that room where the Silver Bow was. Cool. So, Rod, just to check, you're going to sleep, is that right? Correct. I thought Shining the Silver stuff. Bow was in a different place. No, this is a, the family home where somewhere inside okay. in a room uh, whose door you will soon recognize if you, if you uh, wander around. Oh, okay. uh, Star, uh, stuff. You will be, should be able to find that. Um, Uh, do you point him in any particular room? Is he, for example, being ushered into your old childhood bedroom? Track, so? um, I'm thinking that's the obvious place. Let's just hope there's not a little elf child sleeping in it right now. That's the question. But. <laughs> um, uh, you are, I think, awake enough to know there is no one in the bed. You okay. Down to it. Uh, this well. Um and any more, or have a look around. Uh, I will let Ron go. And um, uh, are you? Uh, so the door you don't explicitly recognise, but as soon as you look from the bedroom of uh, uh, Moon's Glow, you can see the other door. That there I go. After. Um, uh, make an alertness roll. No, a very, very poor roll for my alertness. Let's see how what the what the chart tells me. Inferior is Inferior. my result. Okay. I guess I'm really, really focused on all this. Mm. Yeah. So uh, no, you can certainly charge across, open the door. Um, uh, you are confronted by a. Um, uh, a room that you don't remember being part of the building. Hmm. Uh, and uh, a room that physically can't be part of this building because uh, it has a number of windows looking out. Yeah, I saw this in the vision. It's going somewhere else. It's like, whoa, um, okay, magic room. You can see, you can see the uh, oh, uh, spiraling towers of... Um, this is like oh, high elf she stuff. Yeah, and uh, so in fact, give me a um, give me a memory roll again. And I knock it out of the park again. 
Jeez. Um, I think, does that actually give me... No, this time it's superior, not awesome. But it is... Uh, so here, here is more than enough for what I had in mind uh, to tell you. So that's fine. Uh, and you only get to mark things once anyway, so another awesome wouldn't help you out. I was wondering uh, about that. Uh, but, no, you definitely recognize the uh, the towers and uh, uh, domes, minarets of Tourmaline, the, um, uh, one of the, the main elf cities, which you visited long ago with your parents. As part of wow, there. so we've got uh, kind of a portal to room to a major yeah. elf city here. All right, way up in the Empire. Um, so, uh, as I say, you've seen the, the lovely uh, skate, uh, cityscape towers, uh, tenants waving from the tops of them. Uh, the beautiful harbour with the lovely crafted elf ships in it um, and uh, through these windows and there's a nice breeze wafting and so on and so forth. Uh, in the middle of the room on a sort of um, table with a very nice carved frame, uh, the silver bow of uh, Dana is um, sitting there glowing slightly almost with, almost as though it was bathed in moonlight. Uh, right. Okay. And, At least uh, she's like being respectful toward it, right? Um, okay, now she was doing... I don't like what she was doing with it. She was doing something weird. She never gave it back to the temple. So, and that's three years that I sat in prison where she could have given this thing back to the temple that I took it from. Mm -hmm. um, and I it's and deeply then, suspect this was involved. Okay, can I try to do something before you, you end then? Or could, not? You could if you had made a better roll earlier when you did an alertness roll and a listening roll that you both failed. So, you are surprised when you hear your sister's voice behind you saying, you can't touch it, it's mine. Uh-huh. And, um... Quickness. Okay, cool. Apropos of my comment earlier. Yeah, you can absolutely <laughs> be quick enough to do something. 73 is what I roll. My quickness isn't speed. the best, yeah. but it's not. Oh, wait, no, I take it back. My quickness is freaking awesome. No wonder I keep talking about it. All right, so that posts me all the way up to a great result. Ooh. You are easily quick enough to spin around and see what she's doing behind you. That is um, not what I'm doing. Oh, what do you want to do? I want to take the red scarf from the Bioni, mm -hmm. and I want to wrap the silver bow in it and have it. That sounds like it's going to work. That's um, what I want. So I have touched it, and it's not hers. This is Dana's, mm -hmm. not yours. The Bioni, well, the Bioni mm -hmm. actually told me about how to help girl. No, no, the Bioni told me. Ah. It thought it was here. Yes, yeah, that's right. On the on the, the words of the Bioni, and in love for Dana, who has who also has led me here. I'm bringing it back to the temple. Okay. Um, various things happen. Um, the uh, uh, ooh, I think the um, room starts to um, uh, the windows disappear. The uh, walls return to just normal. Elven growth woodiness and also start to contract slightly. This is That's actually a bit of a relief. The reverse is what I was worried about. Well, you'd be stuck over there. That's uh, right. Uh, yeah, I was worried that we we're going to detach and end up hmm. a city away. But okay, uh, you you hear um, uh, something you are quite familiar with from your younger days, which is the scream of frustration of of your younger sister. Oh no! Stamping her foot and. Frustrated that she can't yet again can't have what she wants, um, and uh, she uh, is raising a um, uh, a beautifully carved wand and pointing it in your direction. But uh, with that quickness roll, you get to go first and decide what you want to do about that. I don't want to hurt my sister. And you do have at least one of your hands full. So. Yeah. You can certainly talk to her or do other things as well. Um, 
well, whatever it is, I'm going to expend a use of speed. Uh, if you want to look up the mechanics okay. on that so I don't, uh, you know, abuse mm -hmm. the system. That sounds good. No, no, no. Um, as uh, I look I over my abilities. Um, shoot, I never even got to use my filch. Um, Give right. me a uh, agility roll, which is how we would find out what's happening to speed. Ah, okay. So that's a new, that's that sounds good. Wait, wait, wait. That was my dice falling, not rolling. There, here we are. Okay. All righty. So, oh, geez, as I roll them off the rolling surface, crazy times. Oh, good roll. Okay, so I've got myself an agility of thirteen, and I zip up here to a great result for my speed. Right. Cool. So that gives you two actions per turn. Uh, or uh, do you say great? Uh, for three minutes. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Okay, two actions it is. per turn. Um, uh, particularly given that, that turns are not defined as how long they are, so this could be uh, lots of turns. Right, um, right. So I'm going to actually, if only I was a better runner, because I'm not that great a runner, um, or jumper. Um, Yeah, I'm a little low on the sort of uh, athletic getaway thing, which is too bad because that's what I'd really like to do. Um, so, are you are you thinking of going past your uh, younger sister and away? Well, yeah, that's what I kind of was thinking about. But um, are there windows in this room at all? There are now no longer any windows. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm just going to have to, uh, if you want to push her out of your way, that would be a bash attack. No, example. no, I don't. If you want to. Okay. I'm glad I do have two actions. This yeah. action is bar is a bargain. Okay. And I, I'm, the bargain is number one, Dana favors me. And I can make, you know, I can restore this to Dana and get her blessing on our house. Not to mention the fact that whatever it is you're mixed up in with these Hydra teeth, uh, the outlaws are killing and looting their way through your warehouse and everything right now. And I'm giving you this information for free, mm -hmm. not part of the bargain. I'm warning mm -hmm. you. You know, there's there's some badasses. Modrith is here in town. She's ripping up the warehouses. She's ripping up the Hydra Teeth operation. However you're sunk into it, detach now. But let me go, and this goes back to Dana, okay? It'll suit you better. It'll be better for you, better for me, better for the house. Dana deserves this. Let's do this right. Okay, yeah. So, that sounds like a bargain roll. Okay. Now. All right. Well, my bargain isn't great. Um, it's only a six. But with a 79 roll, I get passable. Okay. Uh, so that was kind of a Hail required, Mary on that one. The roll required would have been a pass. Is a passable. So. You can see warring emotions in her face, and she's like, uh, what do you say? She says, you're bursting in here and ranting about teeth and outlaws. What do you want about? Um, uh, you're taking what's mine, and all I want to, wanted to do was just get away from this dreadful horrible city pure fire won't let me leave there's money to be made here she says and we're stuck here and we're just merchants they just laugh us at all in anyway that was my chance and you're taking it away but okay if we're still if we're still bargaining and kind of mm -hmm. seeing her well, position then 
All I have to do as part of my passable is to say, I don't want to stop you from doing any of those things, but this isn't the way. This isn't your chance. This will just get you cursed, like me. I'm trying to lift it on me, on my, off myself, and I don't want you to get hurt. And he promised. Listen, I've promised. already killed somebody tonight just because he wasn't the man I wanted him to be. Ooh, um, I don't want to do, yeah, I don't want to do something like that ever again. If this is what you want, if we can't be proper sisters, at least I can try to be your friend. Cool. Give me a sincerity roll. And if I value friendship, I value friendship more than anything. So, <sighs> let the record show a 96 on the dice. Oh, okay. And let's grab that sincerity, which I believe I had racked to a giant seven last time, or the time before wow. that. So, seven with a 96 gives me not an awesome for that all-important oh. check, but I do get the superior. I don't know if me invoking my most valued thing gave me a column shift for the result, but I don't uh, get a check. Um, you wouldn't get a check anyway, but you can certainly have a column shift. I was inspired by the, uh, the speech Good anyway. Um, and um, uh, Moon's Glow is almost overcome. She She's moving towards you like she wants to give you a hug. You're happy with that. I don't know if you're a shiny star as much of a hugger anymore. Or whatever. I, I might sort of remember about the hug thing about right now. Um, but she's, Oh, she man, to... if we cut to our sister getting her cut the throat cut as we speak, <laughs> that's going to suck. Ooh, well, that would be bad, especially because she's just whispering. When she's like holding you, she's like in a tiny, tiny... It's almost, she's still almost a child anyway, and tiny child was... You just say, did you really kill somebody? I did. And it probably isn't going to be a last. I am walking a tough road. And I'm not coming back to this house to take over any kind of money thing. I think I've found my way or I'm looking for my way with Dana's help. But I meant it. Mm -hmm. we'll find a way for you to get out of here and to where you want to live. She's, she's inspired, and she's like, we've got to do what you said. We've got to take it back. All right. Cut. And cut.